Well, good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Wednesday, the 27th of December, 2023. Uh, what a good streaming week this was. The holiday week was very special, having multiple special events, including the, the uh, I almost said the Halloween Marathon. Wow. The Christmas Marathon, the Christmas Eve episode of uh, DSP versus the Internet, uh, kind of the fun post-Christmas vibes of everyone coming by and hanging out the last two days. It was just a really good week. I want to say thank you all because this week went well, and because of it going well for me, I was able to take that time off uh, Sunday night and all day Monday and spend it with my wife and not have to worry. Not have to be like, oh no, now because I didn't work for two days, now things are set back or anything like that. You know, it's been rough this year ever since that last week of uh, October where that happened. Um, but you guys are awesome this week. I really, really appreciate all of you coming out, hanging out, and supporting everything that I did. Um, today which is my final consecutive streaming day of the week. We did <clears throat> a chill podcast, although today was like technical difficulties day. So yesterday, as I told you, I had problems with my printer. Good news is I got the printer working right after last night's Daily Wrap, uh, and I was like, oh, so it won't be a big deal. You know, now I'll be able to, to have a good day ahead with no problems. Yeah, right. So one of my Like a Dragon guidance videos from last night, part 27, refused to go out live on YouTube. I uploaded it twice, and each time it would upload to 55% and then stop. And I don't know if it's a YouTube issue or not, because I can watch that video in its entirety right now on my PC, and there's no problems with it. So I don't know if YouTube just doesn't like this video. This has happened only a small handful of times before, where a video just refused to be fully uploaded to YouTube, like it wouldn't accept it, it would just freeze. Um... The good news is I was able to get the video eventually. What I did is I edited it out of the raw archive stream from last night, and it did go live maybe a few hours ago. So if you missed part 27, Electric Dragon Gaiden, it's live now. I'm sorry it took so long. That was definitely some weird thing on the side of YouTube. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 this morning was fun. Uh, instead of continuing on in the Underdark, which we did all last stream, we decided to go topside instead. And I had options or directions to go, so I went south to the swamp. And we did this whole swamp exploration. We found some some awesome, interesting stuff there. There was a cool, uh, epic plot line with the hag, the swamp hag. And basically, we, we finished it. We got to, like, the very end of it. We still have, like, a little bit of, like, epilogue of how to wrap it up. But we got through an epic boss fight and all this stuff. It went really well. It was fun. I mean, I messed up a bunch. It was funny to see me, like, flub it, but still kind of make it through. Went really well. I hope you will give it a look. It was very entertaining. Um... And I want to say thank you because here we are, you know, now I would say, what, like 24 hours into Baldur's Gate 3 and you guys are still continuing to show up, engage, and support with those streams. The views on YouTube have trailed off, which I very much expected. I did not think that an RPG of this stature or length um, was going to consistently have insane views, okay? Uh, what I'm noticing is that, you know, over a few days they still get anywhere from 400 to say 700, 800 views. But they definitely have trailed off. I mean, you're talking the playthrough started with 7,000, and now it's all the way down to only a few hundred per part. Ultimately, people will probably watch the playthrough in its entirety, but it's going to be hundreds of parts, and that's it's to be expected with a playthrough. Again, any RPG that's lengthy, this always happens. You know, keep in mind, we're 24 hours in today. What are we, like, a quarter into the game? While other games, for example, like Dragon Gaiden, we're, like, 27 hours in. It's about to end. So, there you go. It's a big commitment, right? But, had great fun today. Thank you all for still showing up and supporting. I'm I'm keeping with my promise that as long as you did that, that you showed up and engaged and helped me with the playthrough and made it entertaining and you supported it as a daytime stream, that I would keep playing it and I'm going to stick to that, okay? So tonight was Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. As I've told everyone, I like having different multiplayer in the schedule for variety, but I did feel like I should significantly scale down Modern Warfare because, number one, I just don't like the Warzone. I tried it. I think it's shit. I really do. I think it's boring. Um... And the multiplayer is fun, but it's chaotic, and it's to the point where we know it doesn't work right. Like, there's videos about it. We watched a video together on my React show on Sunday. Someone actually showing concrete evidence that Activision Blizzard patented technologies to make it unfair. That you'll win one or two matches well, you'll play really well, and then the next match, it will purposefully nerf you. It'll actually have a technology in it to say, oh, this time, your bullets aren't as effective. Uh, the other character, you know, is getting an advantage over you. Or if you're really dominating a match, all of a sudden it starts inserting bots into the match that are crazy overpowered that just knock the match back. It does it on purpose. It doesn't want you to constantly be dominating because if you do, 
you'll feel too powerful and you won't want to play anymore. Oh, there's nothing left to do. It creates artificial difficulty <clears throat> to try to hook the player in the hopes that the player will keep playing and maybe, you know, buy content. I want something to do, so can buy season pass, buy the battle pass, whatever it may be, right? It's stupid the game does that, but now that it's doing it, it's hard for me to get as upset because I know it's in there. So, for example, that's exactly what happened tonight. There were some... I, by the way, I swapped out. I'm not doing dual Renettis anymore. Instead, I'm using a Karambit or Harambit um, melee attack again. I, I used it for the first time tonight. And actually, it's really good. It's insta-kill, uh, and it's really fast. Only problem is it's a little bit short range, but it worked pretty well tonight. I actually got my first ever quad kill. I went zoop, 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 killed four people in a row. I've never done that before. Um... So it went really well, and some kill streaks, some fun stuff, uh, but not every match. It was like one or two good matches, one or two bad matches, and it kind of alternated, and you just can't help that. That's how they designed the game. Uh, but it still it was fun. Now, are a ton of people coming out to watch these? No. Maybe like 300. Are a ton of people supporting them? Eh, no. But we got a decent amount of tips tonight. So I'm thinking what I should do is keep it in the rotation maybe once a week. So that way we have that variety of multiplayer. I think keeping Street Fighter Six in there at least once a week, maybe twice, and then Call of Duty maybe once is a good variety of multiplayer for the week so that they're not <clears throat> stagnant or boring, okay? So, overall, great streaming week. Remember, there is content everywhere. There's Baldur's Gate 3, right? There is Street Fighter Six. There's Modern Warfare 3. There's Like a Dragon Gaiden, and there's the Christmas Marathon and the React Show. So there's content all over my channels. If you missed it because you were busy during the Christmas holiday, Get caught up. I am not here tomorrow. All right? It's my day off. I have to run a lot of errands and do a lot of stuff now to catch up uh, and prepare for the new year. So it'll be a busy day for me. But then when I come back on Friday, it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3 again on the first stream. Um, and Friday Night Fights, Street Fighter 6 with more Blanca this time on the late stream. I'm undecided if we should go Blanca ranked or if we should go Blanca cust uh, custom matches or... If you guys want to see Lily return, I'm okay with that too, but we'll do custom matches. Like, I'll do a night of just custom matches with Lily. I haven't played with her in a while, so I'd have to get back into the swing of things. But if I feel if I played custom matches just like I did with uh, with Honda, uh, with Honda, excuse me, with uh, Blanca, I could probably get back into it. And I actually miss Lily. I like the character a lot. It sucks that she's not good, and I know that I'm going to lose a lot. But let me know what you think. Do you want to see Lily or Blanca Friday night? Give me your feedback, okay? Um, and then this week, the whole goal this week coming up is to finish RoboCop Rogue City, to finish Like a Dragon Gaiden, which both which could very much finish this week, to get as further in at the Baldur's Gate 3 as I can, and basically do some variety to prepare, because the week after, the first full week of January, are going to be my year-end series, including Game of the Year Awards, Most Disappointing Games Countdown, and for the first time ever, your viewer's choice, best playthroughs of the year. But then when that's done, we're going to start new games, whether that's Resident Evil Zero, which it seems like a lot of people are interested in Resident Evil Zero Remaster. Uh, or Sea of Stars, a game that I've wanted to play ever since it came out during the summer on Game Pass. It actually won Indie Game of the Year at the Game Awards, so I'm very interested in that. So, good stuff coming once we wrap up these playthroughs, all right? Should be a great week. And once again, one more final time, thank you for your support this week. I really appreciated it because I really enjoyed spending time with my family, and thank you for allowing me to do that, all right? I'm out of here. I will see you all on Friday for the beginning of another awesome streaming week, the final week of the year. Thanks, guys. See you then. Be safe. Peace out.